everybody, Mike and Hannah here with Delta Faucet. The Delta Clarify Tankless Reverse Osmosis System is a game changer for your home. You'll wonder how you ever live without the convenience of refreshingly pure water right from your sink. But like with any technology, issues can arise. Today, we're gonna talk you through some troubleshooting tips. If the problem that you're experiencing is noise, it's good to know that the unit does generate a soft hum when it's in use. So when you turn your faucet on, the pump kicks on, filters your water, and that's the normal sound that it makes. Now, if the sound that you're experiencing is louder than that, the first thing you wanna check is to make sure that your unit isn't touching the cabinet wall or any pipes because that could cause some vibration. You also wanna make sure that there's no hoses that are touching your P-trap. And the last thing to check is to make sure that your unit is sitting on a flat level surface. If you hear beeping when the unit is in use, that's the unit telling you that you'll need to replace your filters. If you hear two beeps, that means that you'll need to replace your filters soon. If you hear constant beeping, that means that you'll need to replace your filters immediately. The unit also has filter life indicator lights on the front. So there's one for CF, which stands for carbon filter, and there's one for RO, which stands for reverse osmosis filter. If they are blue, that means that your filter life is good and they do not need to be replaced. If they turn purple, that means that they'll need to be replaced soon. And if they turn red, that means they need to be replaced immediately. Now the carbon filter, the reverse osmosis filter, and the remineralizer, if you have it, should last around two years, depending on your consumption. The pre-filter should last around six years, again, depending on your consumption. If it's time for you to replace your filter cartridges, you can head to deltafaucet.com or scan the QR code on the screen to purchase new filters. You can also check out our how-to video to walk you through the steps on how to replace your filters. Now, another source of a constant beat coming from your unit could be related to the timeout protection mode. What this mode does is to help prevent your unit from running for more than 33 minutes continuously. At the 30 minute mark, the unit will begin to beep to basically just let you know that this mode is about to activate. If the mode activates and stops the flow of water, that's totally fine. All you have to do is unplug and plug the unit back in to reset it and resume normal operation. Now, if you haven't been running the unit for 30 minutes continuously and you're hearing this beeping, it's time to do a little bit of troubleshooting. The first thing we wanna do is check the unit and all of our connections back to the faucet. You need to make sure all of the hoses and tubes are installed not only in the right locations, but also installed correctly. For example, making sure they're fully seated into the back of the unit itself. At this point, we also wanna to check to see if we see any signs of a leak that could be causing the unit to continuously run. So if we see any leaks, make sure you correct those. However, if you've checked everything to make sure it's all installed correctly and you don't see a sign of a leak, at this point, we probably need to reach out to the Delta Faucet customer service team for a little bit of additional help. If you've noticed that your dispensed water doesn't taste the way it used to before or taste just like tap water, there's two main things we can check. The first is our filters. We wanna confirm they're in good working order and don't need to be replaced. Now keep in mind that your unit will give you an indication of when those filters need to be replaced. If your filters look good, the next thing to check is to make sure that our faucet supply line is connected to the correct outlet on the back of the unit. That's the one marked pure. Now keep in mind if you have the optional remineralizer in your setup like I do here, that faucet supply line will actually connect to the remineralizer and then the remineralizer will connect to the unit again in that same outlet, the one marked pure. So go ahead and check those two things, correct whichever one was giving you the issue, and you'll notice an improvement in the taste of your dispensed water. If your system isn't dispensing any water, there's a few things we can check. The first thing we wanna look at is the unit itself to see if we see any status lights on the front of the unit. If you don't see any status lights, this could indicate that the unit isn't receiving any power. So just confirm that the unit is plugged into an outlet and that outlet is supplying power. Now, for example, if you have a GFCI, we wanna make sure that isn't in the tripped position. If you do see some status lights and they're solid blue, that indicates that the unit is probably functioning correctly and the issue is somewhere within our supply lines. All those hoses and connections between our supplies from the wall, our unit, and the faucet up above. So just confirm everything's connected correctly and nothing's kinked or pinched in any way. Also, you wanna make sure that your T adapter coming off the cold supply in the wall is in the on position. Now, if you're seeing the status lights on the front of the unit blink red, 
This indicates that a little bit of water may be sitting in the bottom of the unit that we need to clear out. So to do this, we're gonna be unplugging the unit from the wall and then tilting it either forward or backward to a 45 degree angle and letting it sit for about 30 seconds, which will allow that water to run out. Now, if you have enough slack and clearance in your install location, you can go ahead and do that in place. However, just be aware that you may need to make a couple disconnections to pull the unit out far enough to make sure you're achieving that angle that we need so all the water runs out. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect all of our hoses, reinstall our system and plug it back in to allow it to boot up normally. And then we can recheck those status lights to make sure we've cleared that water out. If you're experiencing a low flow from your dispensed water, there's a few things we can check. The first is to check the two filters within the unit itself, confirming they're in good working order and don't require replacement. Now keep in mind that the unit itself will tell you if they require replacement through not only the status lights on the front, but also an audible beep. If you're getting the two blue status lights, that indicates the filter should be in good working order so we can move on to the next troubleshooting step. Next thing we wanna check is to make sure the water that's being supplied to the unit also has a good flow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is visually confirm that both my cold water supply and my T-stops are both in the full on position. Next, I wanna visually look at all of my hoses and connections, making sure nothing looks like it's kinked or crimped in any way that could be causing that flow issue. If everything looks good there, we can move on to troubleshooting our pre-filter. Now to do this, I'm gonna turn off the water supply at my T-adapter and then remove the pre-filter from my system. Now, I think it's a great idea at this point to grab a bucket and a towel for some light water cleanup to check the water pressure that's being supplied to the unit itself. To do this, I'm gonna grab the end of the hose that's connected to the T-adapter, direct it into the bucket, and then turn the T-adapter to the full on position. This way I can check the flow of water to make sure it seems strong. If that flow of water looks strong, we're gonna move on to flushing our pre-filter. To do this, I'm gonna connect the end of the hose coming from my T-adapter to the reverse side of the pre-filter, that's the one labeled output. Next, I'm gonna direct the pre-filter into a bucket and then turn on my T-adapter for about five to 10 seconds, letting water flow through that adapter in reverse, trying to clear any debris that could be causing our flow issue. Now at this point, if you're still seeing a flow issue of that water coming out of the pre-filter, then we're confident the issue is within the pre-filter itself and it could require replacement. However, if the flow of water seems strong, we can turn off our T-adapter, hook up the pre-filter back in the correct orientation and reconnect everything within our system, and then test it one more time up above to see if our dispensed water has that strong flow again. Now, if you're not seeing that strong flow at this point, it may require some additional troubleshooting steps. So be sure to reach out to the Delta Faucet customer service team and they'll be more than happy to help. If the problem you're experiencing is no power to the unit, the first thing you wanna check is making sure that it's plugged in. You wanna make sure that the outlet it's plugged into is a working outlet. And if the outlet is on a switch, you wanna make sure that the switch is in the on position. The next thing you can try is resetting the GFCI that could be located underneath your sink or on a nearby outlet. There's two buttons on a GFCI, one says reset and one says test. You wanna hit the reset button. Another possibility is that there's too many appliances on the circuit that your unit is on and a breaker may have tripped. If that's the case, you'll need to reset the breaker in your circuit breaker box. The last thing you can try is plugging in the unit to an outlet that you know works. If the unit still isn't getting any power, you'll need to contact Delta Faucet Customer Service for some additional help. If your unit is indicating an increase in the level of TDS or total dissolved solids, this indicator light here will be either purple or red. That may just mean that your unit has been sitting for a little while and needs to have a manual flush done. To do that, you wanna turn on your beverage faucet and let the water run for about 10 minutes. After that, if your indicator light is still showing purple or red, I recommend doing a water test. You'll wanna test the water at the source, your kitchen faucet, and then compare it to the water coming out of your beverage faucet. The unit should be filtering out 90% of the level of TDS. If it's not doing that, I recommend changing your filter cartridges and then testing the water again. If it's still not filtering out 90% of the TDS level, I recommend calling Delta Faucet customer service for some additional help. All right, I hope some of those troubleshooting tips were helpful for you and your issue was solved. And remember, if you have any additional questions, you can always reach out to the Delta Faucet customer service team. They're more than happy to help.